Hey guys, it's Hamish here and today we're going to be talking about discount rates and how they are vital in the valuation of businesses on the stock market. We're going to start out by looking at the definition and an explanation to help you better understand how it all works. Make sure you stick around to the end on this video so that you can learn how to exactly apply these methods in your valuation of businesses. If you're new around here and you're seeing me for the first time, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can join the team and stay up to date. But for now, let's jump into it. So what is a discount rate? So a discount rate is the rate of return that we want to see on a stock in terms of stock price. And it's called the discount rate because we take the future price, which we estimate from future earnings, and we discount it back to the present day. Now I know this sounds confusing, but think of it this way. When we're valuing a stock, we're simply working from the future price, usually 10 years out or five years out, and working back to the present day in order to work out what price we need to pay today. If we estimate a business to be worth $100 per share in 10 years and we want to four times our money over that period, we know that we need to divide the $100 by four in order to get the price that we will pay today, which in this example is $25 per share. Going forwards now, present day, we buy at $25 per share, 10 years go by and the price hits 100, we sell at 100 and ta-da, our $25 is turned into 100, four times our money. The act of dividing by four is how we use the discount rate except instead of using an arbitrary number such as two or four or six or something like that, we're gonna discount by a percentage. However, we can't just divide the future price by the percentage return we wanna get. We have to use a formula that takes into account the compounding effect. So let's continue with our $100 per share in 10 years example. But instead of wanting to four times our money, Let's say that we want our money to grow at 10% each and every year for 10 years. So then we just simply plug our numbers into the formula. Our future price is $100 because that's what we've estimated our future price to be. Our, the percentage that we're using is 10%, so that's 0.1. And the number of periods is 10 years because we're discounting over 10 years. If we looked out five years into the future, we would use a number five. So we simply plug those numbers in and it will tell us how much we should be willing to pay now in order to grow our money at 10% each and every year for 10 years. And that price in this example is $38.55. Now, if you still don't fully understand, that is completely fine. As long as you recognize what numbers you need to put into the formula, you can still do it yourself. You just need to grab the formula, grab those three things, your future price, your discount rate, and the number of periods you're discounting over, plug them in and you will get your present day price. I hope this video was helpful to those who wanted to learn the mechanics of how I value businesses with discount rates. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and check out my channel. But for now, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.